With some rain on the week of opening day, not what we want to hear. Not at all. It, it yeah. seems like, Rick, that's the way it's been. We either get one or two days of sunshine, then we're right, right back in the clouds and rain chances. That's exactly what we're going to be seeing here for this week. So I hope you enjoyed the sunny day today because it looks like tomorrow the clouds will be back and then the rain is back in the forecast here for midweek. That does include opening day. So let's get right to it and share the radar tonight. We are dry across the area. We do have a coastal flood threat. It's a minor one for parts of the area. You can see the area is in light green. That is the coastal flood advisor in effect for parts of Hartford as well as Baltimore County and down into Calvert County, Charles County as well. Dark green, that is a coastal flood warning. So Annapolis uh, down towards, it looks like really the coastline of Anne Arundel County. So including Annapolis, we're talking about tides running about two to three feet above normal high tide. And uh, so that's really where you're going to be seeing the issues here over the next couple of days with this sustained easterly wind that we've had across the area. Aside from that, the weather is fairly quiet. And it looks like it'll stay that way here through tomorrow, just cloudy. But we've got some showers in the forecast for Wednesday and perhaps a little better chance for some steadier rain during the day Thursday, unfortunately, for opening day. As temperatures are in the 30s and 40s now, it's going to be a cold night across the region. We still have that east to northeast wind across our area. So a bit of a cool start to your Tuesday. And then you'll notice as we go throughout the morning, the clouds really thickening. So if we do happen to see any sunshine early, it won't last long as we're expecting it to be mostly cloudy to cloudy as we go throughout the afternoon hours. Again, here's our storm system off towards the west, headed towards our area. And it's going to slowly make its way into the region, giving us those high rain chances. You See there for Wednesday and Thursday. That's when we'll see the best chances for rain. So a few scattered showers in the forecast here for your Wednesday. Again, tomorrow's going to be dry, but then watch what happens on Thursday. This area of low pressure developing to the south is going to be spreading rain into the area. The good news is Friday into the weekend now looking dry, although we may have to make some fine may, may have to fine tune the weekend forecast as we're getting some indications we may have a slight chance for showers to contend with. But here's your game day forecast here for Thursday. Highs in the low 50s with scattered showers around throughout the morning and afternoon. We're kind of keeping our fingers crossed that if we get any rain, it'll be early in the day and then we can get that rain out of here. But right now it looks like it's going to last even through the late afternoon and evening. Hourly planner tomorrow highs in the low 50s under a mostly cloudy sky. First alert seven day forecast shows uh, dry weather returning here for Friday. Now we have the dry forecast for the weekend. We'll keep you updated on whether or not we need to add rain chances to that, but at least temperatures will be reasonable into the low to mid 60s for highs for both Saturday and Easter Sunday. Rick, back to you. All right, Derek, thank you. Coming up.